Renaissance Synergy How-To Video Debugging the Blinky Project using eSquared Studio In this video presentation, we will demonstrate how to download, run, and debug a previously written and compiled program. This way you can experience firsthand how easy and straightforward this process is when using eSquared Studio. This Integrated Solutions Development Environment, or ISDE, provides everything necessary to run and analyze a program and we will walk you through the process of making all the basic settings. For this, we will use the program we created and compiled in the previous video tutorial called Creating a Blinky Project from Scratch using eSquared Studio. If you haven't watched it yet, you should do that now. Once we finish this video tutorial, you will see the green LED1 on the promotion kit blink with a frequency of 1 Hz. If you want to follow the different steps of this demonstration on your own machine, you will need a working installation of eSquared Studio on your Windows computer. If you haven't installed it already, you might want to review the video titled Installing eSquared Studio for Renaissance Synergy First for installation instructions. In the previous tutorial, we successfully compiled our Blinky project. The next step is to run it on the promotion kit. And this is now the right moment to physically connect the kit to your Windows workstation. Insert the micro B end of the USB cable delivered with the kit into the connector called debug underscore USB on the board and the other end into a free USB port of your PC. The green LED at the top right corner will light up, indicating that the board has power. Your Windows workstation might indicate that it's installing a driver for the JLink onboard debugger, which should complete automatically. To download our program, we need to create a debug configuration first to let eSquared Studio know how to access the actual hardware and which program and debugging interface to use. Click on the small arrow beside the debug icon and select Debug Configurations from the drop-down list. In the left pane of the window that shows, expand the Renesas GDB Hardware Debugging entry and highlight the My Blinky Project item. The right frame now displays the debug settings for that project. You do not have to change anything in here as the project wizard already created everything for you at the time you generated the project. All that is left to do is click on Debug. This will start the download of the executable. A new window appears asking if you want to open the debug perspective of eSquared Studio. As the debugger is associated with that perspective, answer yes. The next time you want to start your program, you do not have to repeat these steps again. Merely clicking the Debug icon is then sufficient. This is the debug perspective of eSquared Studio. You will notice that the main menu bar has changed and now displays the options necessary to run and debug a project instead of the ones useful for writing code. The view on the top left shows information about the state of the debugger, which is suspended right now. The view below shows the editor window with the startup file open and the cursor blinking at the entry point of the program. On the right of it, you have the outline view listing the functions and variables of your program. On top of that is the watch view, where you can inspect variables for debugging. We will come back to this view later on. To start the program, click on the Resume button. The program will run briefly and stop again, this time at the call to HAL underscore entry. To continue, click again on Resume. This time, the program continues to run. As you can see, the green LED1 flashes with the frequency of 1 Hz we programmed in the last video tutorial. This indicates that our program is working as expected. What we want to do next is to have a closer look at the watch view. For that, click on the Suspend icon in the menu bar. The program will stop right away at the location of the current program counter. In the Editor view, activate the tab with the file hal underscore entry dot c. Right click in one of the lines with a pin right statement and select Run to Line from the menu. Execution will resume and stop again at that line. Now look at the watch view. You will see that our LED structure holding the information about the user LEDs on the promotion kit is listed. If we expand it, we will see the members of the structure. The value of the variable LED underscore count shows that there are three LEDs on the promotion kit, and the pointer P underscore LEDs points to the array holding the port addresses for those LEDs. Only the value for our LED 1 is displayed right now, indicating that it is connected to pin 0 of IO port 06. If you want to see the whole array, just right click on the P underscore LEDs entry and select Display as Array from the menu. In the dialog appearing, change the length to 3. 
as there are three user LEDs on the board. The full array will now be shown. The final step is to disconnect the debugger from the board. For that, click on the Terminate icon, which fully stops the execution of the program and also stops the debugger and disconnects it from the board. Note that the debug perspective does not close automatically, so click on the C, C++ perspective button to switch back to the editing perspective. In this video presentation, we showed you how easy it is to actually run and debug a program using E Squared Studio and the S5D9 Promotion Kit. Only a few steps are necessary and you're all set. Thank you for watching, and we suggest that you have a look at the other videos in this series as well.